I want to ask you specifically about the quarterback position. So much is going to be made of Drew Allard's development, Bo Prabula right behind him. What is it about spring ball that is so important for quarterbacks? Listen, spring ball is uh, – it's accumulation of the off season, right? And I think the quarterback position specifically, I think you can attest to this having been in many locker rooms in your, in your career is, is different. It transcends just that room. It transcends the locker room oftentimes. And spring ball is more so about carrying that momentum from winter workouts onto the field. And then for Drew, I think it's a great opportunity for him to focus on the things that he needs to get better at, what he wants to improve on. He's got a new offense. So spring ball is really about reps, continuing that momentum and being a driver and kind of taking that holistic approach to it um, and making sure that the expectations are set where they need to be in order to, to reach the goals that the team has. And you have a very powerful position to be able to do that every day. And then, you know, for Drew, like I said, introspectively looking at it, it's a great time to get reps, try things, test things out because you're getting a lot of good versus good action. And I talk about this with Brandon Bell. It's something Bill O'Brien did with us during the season, even with our shorter roster. We went good versus good during the season because oftentimes when you get the the cards and all that stuff, it's – you know, they're telling the walk-on kid to to bite on something and he's biting five, six yards. That's never going to happen like right. that when the lights come on, you know. So it's really a good opportunity to take some mental reps from last year, some mental notes and start seeing, hey, is he flat-footed? If he's flat-footed, then I could take this shot or if he does this. So you can really start testing those little things and focusing on the finer details of recognition. And I think that's where his growth needs to be. Um without diving too far into it, it's, it's just being more and more accurate and more and more uh, on time with those deeper progressing routes and the things down the field. He either hit it or he missed by a pretty wide margin relatively consistently. 20 yards and under, he distributes the ball very, very well on time, plays on time. And I, I, I keep telling people this and they don't understand it. Like he takes checkdowns. That's incredibly – mature for his age like I never learned how to take a check down and that's part of the reason why I was on the couch quickly like I always <laughs> was trying to get the bigger fish and um, being able to teach a kid to take shots and, and see things is a lot easier than trying to reel them in so um, I know that's super long-winded but spring ball for me and specifically that quarterback room and Drew is going to be unique and and, and I'll, I'll rattle off on this too like with Bo it's a great chance to start pushing, you know what I mean? And pushing for reps. Andy's shown the the propensity to, to roll two guys out there, have different packages. We did it last year. So we know that that's definitely in our, in our, uh, in our holster and in our, in our, in our deck of cards. So it's a great opportunity for Bo to push and compete and iron only sharpens iron brother. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm really locked in. I said this was going to be a competition for me to watch during training, during spring ball, but it's not necessarily a competition. I'm just curious to see how the alpha mentalities that often come with that position push each other in the right way, which ultimately will help rise the rest of the guys play and focus and attention to detail. So it's, it's, it's an exciting time to watch that position as a Penn state fan. 